the power of the dark side, 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 side. Welcome to FTL, uh, Faster Than Light, Advanced Edition. Uh, I'm doing a tutorial to actually see how the game works. I did try to record a little bit earlier, and I tried to play the actual game, and I had no idea what was going on. So, yeah, let's do the tutorial. Welcome to FTL, you're aka Faster Than Light. Uh, you are the captain of the Federation Starship on a very important mission. The Federation is currently being torn apart by... Fictious rever re re I can't talk today. Rebels. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the Rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the Rebels can catch you. Continue. Your ship, the Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. The circular icons are at the bottom of the screen are ship's primary system. Systems use power in the reactor pointed by the arrow. These are your ship's subsystems. Unlike systems, they do not require pack power from the reactor. Subsystems. However, your mouse hover your hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information about the system. Okay. Uh, shields. Sustains projectile blocking shields. Manning increases the shield char recharge speed. Level 2, one shield bearer. Set is fully powered. Unman. Add power. A. Move power shifting. Okay. are in the top left. If your whole meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. That, that's nice. You should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered. White system uh, boxes are unpowered. Fighting no benefit to the Kestrel, the name of the ship. Left click on the engine system icon and power will transfer from your reactor to the engines. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower the system if you want to rerun the power. Uh, left click on that. Okay. Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Notice 
that repair systems will automatically try to repower themselves to their last power state. That that's good. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the system. Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in their room. The silhouette above the power bars shows if the system is manned. Oh no, a fire is broken out in your starboard airlock. You should send the crew members to put it out. Let's take advantage of your airlock. your current location. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Left click. Oh, I'm connecting the node to travel there now. is trying to destroy you. Continue. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They're nearly always a good choice. Okay. It's a combat. You could use spacebar or middle mouse to pause the game at any time. To strategize, give commands or relocate your power. Try to pause the game now. You need your power, your weapon, Shooting it expands your missile stock, but 
Missiles pierce through all enemy shields. Use the missile to damage the enemy shield system, and then your lasers can get through it as well. drones are added to your cargo if there is no more room in their respective system left click on the ship info body so we could equip your new weapon this is your equipment screen you can see more detailed information about your weapons drones or augments by mousing over them we can drag your new halberd beam over to the Artemis to swap Artemis to swap them out, then hit accept. Sorry, Artemis. Who? Oh, uh. -huh. This is the upgrade screen. You could see the detailed info about your systems and upgrade them by spending scrap. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu. Which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Let's look on your weapon system to close the upgrades. On the on the what? Oh sorry, left click on your weapon system to upgrade it. Okay. Power your weapon. You might need to power down your other weapon in order to have enough power. Right click, depowers weapons. Okay. Final tip you can rearrange your weapons in the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging. If your weapon system is damaged, this order determines the order they are depowered right to left. Okay. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. First, continue to click the tutorial. Oh well, yeah, that was just a tutorial. So I learned about the game. I think this is just gonna be a quick episode of the FTL. Uh, but um, I will upload another episode today. Oh no, no, tomorrow, and it's gonna be um episode one of FTL. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video on. Oh, this FTL tutorial mode, gameplay-ish, I, I guess, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I, actually, before the video ends, I'm sorry for no uploads for, like, a week. I was sick, but, yeah, I think now I'm just gonna end this episode, because I'm tired and... It's 10.04 on Saturday, March 18th. So, uh, and yeah, PM. So I'm just gonna go to sleep right now. Wake up in the morning, uh, record up TL episode one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. This looks like uh, the majority of masculine, by the way. But anyways, guys, once again, my name is Alexander, and I will catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you guys. Uh,